We played a game of competitive Counter-Strike, but Dust 2 was a hostage map. CT spawned and T spawn, the hosties were at each bomb site, and the capture points were at either end of T spawn. Here's what happened. So they're gonna expect a War Owl strat. I think we don't do it. I think me and T-Dan are gonna run lower. You three work long, then we're gonna split A, grab the hostie. I think it spawns at short. Greetings, I, the War Owl, greets you. CS Dust 2 is a map on the workshop by Melk, and I think it's a brilliant concept. It was very strange to be spawning in T-Spawn as CTs. Wait, wait, should- well, Oh, okay, uh, just wait here, wait here. We'll wait for them to get the other hostage, Jello. And then they'll go- we'll go from both sides. This guy breathing in my ear. By the way, the enemy team can hear the breathing. <laughs> he totally fell for that. Can I rescue the other one in time? Yup. Yep. No, I got clipped on the wall! <laughs> was you clip on? Right away, we noticed a big problem with the game mode and immediately exploited it, like any good Counter-Strike player would. The CT economy was out of control. We got $600 each when someone picked up a hostage, $300 for the person who got the hostage, and $600 when we rescued a hostage, and there were two hostages. So we made sure to keep one enemy alive and just rescue both hostages every time we could. On round two, we had auto snipers. Green, I'll drop this. Just trade it when you're ready. It's behind you. Go B, no way. Oh, shit. What? Oh. What? T-Dan was a problem when I thought he was on my team. Hostage maps in Counter-Strike kind of suck. The hostages are rarely saved, and most of it's just fighting at a few choke points. Ahem, <laughs> office. But what if we put the hostage mode into a good map? Here's how the gameplay flow went. At the start of the round, it felt normal, except that the teams were flipped, so you were using different weapons. The T's would defend the bomb sites in a normal fashion, and the CT's would try to take the bomb sites in a normal fashion. But then things got screwy in a good way. Once the CTs got hold of a hostage, it didn't make sense to retake the bomb site. Instead, the Ts would set up another line of defense, as well as trying to lurk around the map to catch them off guard. Positioning was super important. It essentially killed the save meta, and good riddance, because save meta, which is when CTs save instead of going for a bomb site retake, is very boring. It also spread out the action across the entire map. I'm gonna Let stay in CT, T -N -C -D. I lied, I lied. <laughs> oh my what? gosh. God. What did I hear? That's some fake info. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I screwed up, guys. I gave like a jello call there. Or Al when he purposely spreads misinformation. Yeah, it's like when I tell people about Source 2. <laughs> now, one thing you may have figured out here is that in defusal mode, the T's start by playing offense. And then once the bomb is planted, it flips and they're playing defense. Counter Strike has a natural defender's advantage, so this is a really nice gameplay flow. In this game mode, in this CS Dust 2 thing, the T's start by playing defense and then they play more defense. Seems like it would be pretty T-sided, as hostage maps usually are, and that's why they don't really work. But CS Dust 2, it wasn't T-sided. Our games actually went pretty even. The reason why was that the hostages are spread pretty far across the map, making it difficult for the whole team to defend. And there's two separate capture points that need to be defended. Once you plant the bomb in defusal mode, the bomb can be defused, giving CTs an instant win. And there's only one bomb. In this, there's two hostages, and you can't defuse a hostage. You can try, but he'll probably die. If CTs do stop one of the hostages from being rescued, the game doesn't end. It keeps going. There's another guy out there. It weirdly worked. Taking B hostage. B hostage. B hostage. Okay, okay, I'm lower. I got him. Once we up cat, once we climb up cat to get the ho other hostage. They're getting hot. Already got it. Already got it. Oh, crap. I got it. Yeah, oh, I, got, I, I got, thought I, I killed him because of the kill feed. <laughs> He's going to spawn. You have to, you have to run. You have to run. Hold right there. Hold right there. Hold. Yeah. Other one's gonna be okay. coming from A. Could go all the way around though. It could go yeah. all the way around, but not up to That's second. what I'm worried about. Give it a like five times. Oh! No! Some of you might not know this, but I'm an old man, so I know everything. Hostage Rescue was the original game mode in Counter Strike. There's a reason why the maps have a CS in front of it. it stands for Counter Strike. I, what is this gun? What is this gun? <laughs> uh, let me play B. Let me play B. I have an auto sniper. They're gonna rush B and delete them all. Defusal was added later and players realized it was a much better game mode. But what if Defusal is a better game mode because of a lack of imagination when it came to level design? CS Dust 2 
has opened my eyes to new potential in hostage mode. Just kidding, I hate carrying hostages. It's an annoying mechanic. I think it would be smart to have the T's on offense and the CT's on defense again. The game is balanced for that. And replace the hostages with an item so you don't have to deal with the annoying hostage mechanics. One idea I came up with was having the T's try to hack one of two databases and then try to escape with the data. But why doesn't he just send the data from his phone? Look, I, I don't have an answer for that one, okay? You got me. One is tag 90. I'm one is tag 90. Timing. Oh, uh, f um, beans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so I used the multi button mouse, and my reload's right near my drop. Oh, you Why? did a war out play. Same, same, same. Did do a war out play. Oh, what? Oh, no! <laughs> To me. All right. <laughs> what am I doing, dude? What is this game? <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I'm the world, and I still have no closer. You've you've tricked me. No!